All right. Okay, guys. So welcome to the Sunday night power planning session. It is July 12th, like already July 12th. So this whole week is going to be about that mid month mark. Um, and just like as excited as I get with the beginning of the month and the end of the month, like the middle of the month, this is when you can literally turn things around. So we're going to talk a little bit tonight about where you are, where you want to go. We're going to talk about how we get there. Um, and, and we're going to talk a little bit about doing what you can, like taking control of the things that you can control because there's so much outside of this business that you cannot control. I mean, there's just so much, like you're dealing with humans. So well, a lot, lot you can't control. Um, so but the first thing we're going to do though, before we kick off is we're going to find your rate of run. This is super, super important at this point in the month to know your rate of run. For those of you that are new, your rate of run, you're going to take the volume um, for those of you that are brand new, I'll actually walk you through. You're going to go into your cloud. Let me get logged in here, sorry. So get logged into your cloud on your second device. You're going to scroll down until you see business snapshot. You're going to click on that. And under the first gray bar that says qualifications, where it says current status, join date, things like that, I want you to look to where it says current QV. That's your current qualified volume. That number right there. You're going to take that number and you're going to divide it by 12. The reason we're doing that is because today is the 12th day of the month. So you're going to take that volume and divide it by 12. That's going to tell you on average what you and your team have been doing every day this month. And remember, it's on average. When you have an auto ship, you have a, a promo, uh, things will you know go high and go low. But this is on average. And now that average number that you see, you're going to take that, you're going to multiply it by 31 because we get 31 days in July. That extra day is a big gift. <laughs> so you're going to multiply that number by 31. The number you are now looking at, that is your rate of run. That is what you are projected to end the month at if you continue at the pace you've been running. So I can't see your number. Some of you may be like, Oh my gosh, this is the best number I've ever seen. And some of you may be panicking because it's nowhere close to what you wanted to do. But here's the good news. It's the middle of the month. It's actually not even the middle of the month yet where it's only the 12th. We have, it's more than the middle of the month. You have plenty of time to take that number and raise it. Um, and for anyone who looks at that number, <laughs> and this is just me getting on my high horse again, because again, I promised you guys a long time ago, I'm gonna talk to you like the leaders you are because you're on these Zooms. If you look at that number and you're like, sweet, that's where I wanted to be, cool. And you take your foot off the gas, you're on the wrong Zoom. Because that number is what you are set to go at if you, if you stay the pace you're on. Why would you wanna just stay the pace you're on? These paychecks that come to you could be the thing that get you out of debt. It could be the thing that helps you buy a vacation home. It could be the thing that helps you put your, your um, daughter or son through college. It could be the thing that helps you keep a family member at home instead of having to go into some sort of care facility. These paychecks are life-changing. And so if you're looking at that number and you're like, cool, I'm going to take a couple weeks off. I'm going to coast through the rest of July because I'm close to where I want to be. Mm, you are passing up an opportunity. That rate of run number is to keep you focused and keep your eye on the prize. More than not, your rate of run number is going to show you a bigger goal than probably what you had set for yourself. And, and again, like I said, for the leaders on this team, and I always talk to you like the leaders that you are, that rate of run means you cannot take your foot off the gas. If you're finding yourself at the 12th of the month on track for your goal, good. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed. It doesn't mean you can stop doing what you're doing. Um, and if you find yourself above your goal, Flipping awesome. Keep your foot on the gas still and see how far you can go. Use this job to change your life as well as others. That's, that's what these paychecks are for. So, um, so again, since we're at the middle of the month or almost the middle of the month, I wanted to make sure you all knew your rate of run. If I, we just had a bunch of people hop on here like two seconds ago. So if you missed how to do rate of run, I will put this recording up and you can do that later. So then the next thing we're going to do before we head into talking about our week is I want you guys to write down for me, well, not for me, for you, five things that you are grateful for that you know in your heart and mind are coming to you this week. So yes, it's a version of an I am, but it's written in the form of being grateful. So let's say you um, are shooting for hitting 12K by auto ship day on the 15th. You can say, I am grateful 
that I'm hitting my 12K rank on the 15th of the, of the month. Perhaps you are looking for your first ever four digit um, paycheck. You can say, I am grateful that this Tuesday I'm gonna be getting my first four digit paycheck. Start putting your gratitude and your mindset in the same space. I think it's important to be grateful for what we have, but it's also so important to be grateful for what we know is coming. And I don't know if you guys have ever had this, um, it's, there's actually a name for it and I can't remember and I thought about Googling it, but whatever. So let's say you're like shopping for a car and you're like, I'm choosing between this one and this one and you finally pick car B. And you've never really seen many car B, right? Like you've never seen this white, um, Oh, what are I, a white Mercedes before, right? You've never seen that. Now that you have one, you see one every time you turn around. You pass them on the highway, you see them parked in the park, they're everywhere, right? It's what you focus on is what you will see and bring into your life. And so the more you can keep your gratitude focused on what you know is coming, the faster it's gonna actually come into your life. So five things you're grateful for that you know are coming your way in this next week. And this is a big week, you guys. We've got an auto ship this week, we have training this week, um, and we'll dive into all of that, but what is it that you're grateful for this week? So hopefully I rambled long enough to give you time to come up with like about five things. <laughs> all right, so we've done rate of run and we've done gratitude. So let's talk about um, auto ships. To me, when an auto ship comes up, it's not just something that I talk about on the day of. Auto ships are an excuse to reach out to your customers ahead of time. The auto ship is running on Wednesday this week. So I don't like if you have a goal to do five reach outs on Monday and you've got 15 auto ships, whatever, don't wait. Don't put them off. You need to be reaching out to all your auto ship people tonight or tomorrow. Now, when you first reach out to your auto ship people, I do not encourage you to send a message right away that says, hey, you got an auto ship coming out. Can we adjust it? Can we add a shake? Do you want to change your flavor? We're going to get to that. But the first thing you need to be doing here a few days ahead is go to their Facebook page, their Instagram, whatever it is, however you're connected to them, do a little snooping. And tonight and tomorrow, shoot them a message. Hey, it looked like you had a great weekend. What lake were you at? Hey, I didn't see much on Facebook this weekend from you. Have you been really, have you been busy? Have you been working? Just start asking questions about them and their life. Do that tonight or tomorrow. And then by Tuesday for sure, if not by Monday night, that's when you're going to want to say, based on whatever they tell you, maybe they are on vacation and their brain is not on Thrive. Remind them that when they get home, they'll have an auto ship waiting on them. Would now be a good time for them to switch. Did they want to change flavors? So that when they got back from vacation, they had something new, um, whatever your wording might be. Or you guys, if they're on vacation, I would highly ask um, if they want to get, if they want to add a bottle of balance to their auto ship so that when they get home, they can get back on track. Um, maybe they say to you, I've not been on Facebook all weekend. I'm crazy, crazy busy. You know what? You've probably forgotten you have an auto ship coming up this week. Can I help you in any way update the items in there? Now is a great time to change this, that, or other. Or, you know, maybe, maybe they're a black label user. Did you, got, did you know we have white label? It's so cute in the summer. Like whatever it is, you know, you're, you're their promoter. You are their person. Um, but I, I encourage you to make sure you have some communication with them before you dive into salesperson mode because you need to remind them and yourself that you're connected elsewhere, right? Like you're connected in the real world. So that, that's the, the preach I give three times a month about auto ship. Make sure you're doing it ahead of time. Don't wait until Tuesday night at 11 to be like, hey, you got an auto ship. We have 50 minutes to change it. Do you need anything? That will put panic in people's heart. They'll probably say, uh, push it off or uh, delete it for now. Uh, like, don't. Like, remember, I say this. I know I sound like a broken record. And for those of you that are here with me every week, thank you for listening to me say the same words over and over and over. But you sell solutions to people's problems. And if you don't know their problem, you don't know what to sell them. So unless you have conversations with them about their life, you're not going to know what to suggest for them. And an auto ship customer is, I mean, there's no such thing as a spare customer, right? But an auto ship customer, that is a gift from above. That is someone who loves the product so much and trusts you so much. They just automatically let their car get ordered and they just get stuff in the mail. So treat them like that. How can you make it even better? 
Maybe it's time to just change the color. Maybe they're just a plain Jane, one shake, one box of shakes and one little tiny DFT. Maybe now's the time to go purple. Maybe go to blue, maybe go to chic, whatever. Just make, keep yourself and your solutions exciting to your person, okay? Also, um, this week coming up also, we have the mastermind training on Wednesday night. Last week's was great with Courtney. This week's is going to be Dana. I feel like they're just kicking this off with two of, in my mind, um, two of the sassiest promoters that I know. And I love that. And I was actually really surprised that Courtney wasn't as sassy as normal, but um, she did a great job. For those of you that are leaders um, out here on this Zoom, if you noticed when they talked to Courtney about stuff, she, she deflected it to her team. She let her team shine. And that's what a leader does. So I was very impressed with that. I, I, I really thought that was great. Um, and yeah, I just think that I love that we're having uh, some kind of training like this because this team that we're on from uh, Mari on down pours into us training wise. Like if you guys have been on any of the, um, the Zooms that they've been doing, the lunchtime Zooms, and don't worry if you've missed them or maybe you're brand new and have no idea I'm talking about, Susan Kaufman has a YouTube channel and they are all on there. So I encourage you to find that channel and make sure that you go to that. So um, back during quarantine, as I refer to it, I was I got to be home. I got to be on every Zoom. I got to be on every call. I was like, I loved it. And now I'm back to work. So I have to go to the YouTube channel. And I have to get caught up on everything. But the sheer fact that it's there for you, if you're not take partaking in it, then you're the only one to blame. Like, I don't want you on trainings all day long. Obviously, you got to have a life and, and get out there and, you know, do your job. But um, those trainings are really, really good. They're, they're condensed, like time-wise, you know, like they're not like real long and drawn out. Um, it's, it's top leaders on this team. And so when they speak, I'm like, huh? Like, I listen to what they say. So hopefully you guys do too. So again, there's a YouTube channel dedicated to all that. Um, and I think most of you are probably on team pages. But if I, if I'm going to speak to maybe somebody on the recording right now. If you are not in your team, your upline team pages, talk to whoever signed you up um, and get put in the team pages so you get notified when trainings and things like that happen. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So what I want to talk about tonight, why we have time, why we're planning for, oh, Susan says, do you know what's happening? Do you know what's happening this week? You're, you're the new upcoming trainings. Is that what you're referring to? Well, now this this week all those trainers are flipping over to zoom leaders so they're gonna for 30 minutes whatever their topic was let's say it was follow-up for 30 minutes they're gonna do nothing but follow-ups with y'all and work with everybody who's on oh, like you know, we won't do okay we're going to I did, I did I'm glad you explained it we're gonna yes so we're gonna um they're flipping the role of now i trained you on it last week now let's all do it together for 30 minutes Oh, this is exciting. I just thought it was another training schedule, which I was excited about anyway. Don't, uh, don't take that wrong. <laughs> no, then, it, then for 10 days, we're going to do the Zooms. And then for 10 days after that, we have a whole another group of 10 amazing leaders that are going to lead trainings. So we literally will have 30 days of things going on. Gosh. We're you still a smart circle. <laughs> it is. It's so good. And if you, I mean, I've said this before, we're in the right place at the right time because health and wellness is the number one issue with people's lives right now. And not only do you have the best product, you guys have the best team. And I'll just, I mean, I'm sure somebody would argue with me, but we do, we have the best team. Like that's not something that, it's not that people don't want to pour into you and spend time with you, but the fact that they're doing it and they're doing it on a regular basis and they're really putting themselves out there when they could be out looking for new customers, but they're pouring into you, that means a lot. So um, that's exciting. I did not fully uh, comprehend what that, what the switch was. I just thought we were kind of having more training. So I love that they're actually going to like dive in and do it because some people can learn from a class and then some people learn from actually doing, and I'm more of a doer. So that'll be, that'll be fun for me to like, to see that happen. And I'm assuming those are all going to be recorded and put on the YouTube channel also for, okay, perfect. All right. Um, so what I want to talk about now is what you can control in your business. So this upcoming week, you got seven days in front of you. You know for a fact you've got reach outs to do. You know for a fact you have follow ups to do. There's gonna be birthdays, we've got auto ships. Um, you never know when there's gonna be a promo dropped, a new, a new um, oh, what's the word, Can you know, a product. You never know when there's a new product gonna happen. So there are so many things happening, but what can you control? 
And I want to focus on what you can control, and that is you and you only. You can't control what happens above you in your line, below you in your line. You can't control what's happening in a customer's life. You can't control anything except your activity. And so I have a, a small um, offshoot accountability group that I'm in. And earlier this week, I think Saturday, that was just yesterday. Wow, just yesterday. And Lisa Cook, you're on here and I'm gonna steal your words because this was a message from Lisa. So we were talking, so we check in every night. Have we done our reach outs? You know, yay, nay, what are we missing? Blah, blah, blah. And, um, Lisa was responding and she said, good job, Olivia. Here's the part. I'm learning that consistency and showing up every day for my side hustle is the best that I can do. It looks a lot better some days than others, but that's okay. You guys, that's it. That is the key to your entire business. If you are waiting for a customer to fall from the sky, you're going to be waiting a really long time. But if you are knocking on doors every single day, a customer is going to pop up where you least expect it. For example, I have been doing my reach outs every day. My accountability group can tell you some days are better than others. Our goal in our little accountability group is 35 a day. So even when I fall short, we're still falling way above our line, right? We got rid of the 54321 a while back. We like kicked it to the curb and jacked things up. So 35 reach outs here, 35 reach outs here, 35 here, 35 here. Way in the far back corner today, I got a message from a girl who I didn't, I, I didn't know for sure if she was even watching any of my stuff. And I'll read it to you because it's, it's like the, the message that you dream of. Out of nowhere, literally tonight at 541 on my way home. Hey, okay, how much is this Thrive and is it going to help me? Yeah, boo, it's going to help you. <laughs> so anyway, she's already in the chat. She's answering some questions about her top health goals. We're moving on from there. But... Had I not been doing my reach outs and being consistent and showing up on Facebook and showing up and doing the, putting the effort out there, that never would have come to me, right? So it's really, it's easy to be like, oh my gosh, people just come, you know, just, people just fall out of the sky, that they don't. They are attracted to activity. And so um, it may not, like I'm saying, it may not be someone you're directly connected to or you may, I haven't messaged her this week at all. I think she's on my list from like, four weeks ago, maybe she's probably getting ready to pop up on my follow-up list. And when we talked last time, it was nothing about thrive. The last conversations we've had, but being there and being consistent and doing what I can do to control my business is what's resulting in someone new coming up. So I would like for you guys to put, Oh, there's something in chat. I think that I'm missing. These are the, these are the ones from Susan, from you, Susan. Yes. These are the ones from Susan that trainings that she's talking about. All of la the last 10 days trainings are on the YouTube or yeah, on the YouTube. And then now there's going to be a new, the people who taught you in the first 10 days are actually going to do like a work with me version of it the next 10 days, if I understood that correctly. And I think I did. Um, so put into chat for me, have you guys had an instance where you felt like a random customer came to you or a random opportunity came to you, but if you really truly look back, it wasn't random at all because you are working your business every day. They might not have been somebody you reached out to directly, but you were being consistent. And you know, when I talk about my reach outs, for those of you that might be new, I'm not just dialing up 35 people and saying, Hey, have you heard of thrive? Don't do that. <laughs> we did used to do that five years ago. I kid you not. I sent out a ton of messages. Hey, have you heard of thrive? Um, we don't do that anymore, but I am just reaching out to people. I am going through their Facebook. I'm seeing that they're on vacation. I'm seeing that they got a new dog. I'm seeing that their daughter got engaged. I'm seeing that they had a graduation party, whatever the heck it is going on in their life. And instead of just commenting on the photo or giving the good old like button, I'm going into messenger and I am saying, Hey, the party looked great. Hope she had, you know, hope she, I don't know what we're, I don't know. It just depends on what it is. I ask a question. I always try to ask a question. I try to be curious and learn about them. Because again, if I want to help them, I need to know about them. Like this is the worst case scenario and I can't even say it's happened for sure, but let's just pretend that you just found somebody on Facebook and you're like, oh yeah, I haven't seen them in forever. Um, you know what, they look a little tired, a little overweight. I'm totally reaching out to them. And you send them some message and you're all up in their business about how, have they heard of Thrive and it is so good and it is amazing, da 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 da. And they write you back and say, you know what, I'm in the middle of chemo right now. I'm unable to do anything right? Like that's the extreme version. 
but that's, that can happen. If you are not taking the time to get to know who you're talking to and what they are dealing with, you could be that person and none of us want to be that person. So what can you control? You can control doing your research on the person, be a little detective, what's going on in their life. And thanks to social media, you don't even have to be a good detective. It'll be all right there for you. Most people are an open book. Um, you can do your daily reach outs. You set a number for you. And here's how I come up with my number of reach outs. Back when I was doing the, just the regular five, four, three, two, one, which meant five reach outs, four follow-ups, my business was good, but it wasn't great. My business was good, but it wasn't growing. And that's when I realized I was using that five, four, three, two, one as a crutch because I could be like, Oh, I did five. I'm done. They say that's good. So that's when I crossed out the five and I made my own number. So you look at your business. Is it where you want it to be? If it is, keep doing what you're doing. I'm a big fan of don't fix it if it ain't broken. But if you're not growing at the rate you wanna grow, if your team isn't growing at the rate that you wanna go, then I say take your number and do with it whatever it is you think you need. Maybe you just need to go to 10 a day. Uh, it just, you know, it's up to you. It's your goals. It's, it's your, I don't know if you want to be an auto bonus earner. I don't know if you want to be a 200 K. I don't know. Only you do. So base those numbers off of that. And yes. And the girls on here are on my uh, team with me on my accountability team, 35 reach out today. Some days is a lot. Some days it's no, it's, it's fine. Just depends on what's going on in like, you know, your own personal life, how much time you've set down and spent to your messages. But what if you did 35 a day for the next year and you hit 200K? Wouldn't it be worth it? What if you did 35 a day for the next year and you got your car paid for every month? Wouldn't that be worth it? So again, just because I do 35 reach outs doesn't mean 35 people order every day, but I can guarantee you until I go through all the no's and the not yet and the I'm not sure's, I'm not gonna find the yeses. It's a process. Um, Sandra Dilbeck and I were talking earlier this week. Actually, she sent me a message and I loved it completely. Bless her heart, she went through Messenger. She scrolled all the way back up. And for reference, we're talking five years ago. And she found where she and I were first talking about Thrive. And she was a customer, a potential customer who had kids in college, so she was worried about money. She was tired and exhausted, so the last thing she wanted to do was talk to some girl about some supplement that's gonna make her feel better. You've got to remember, put yourself back in that place. We all started as customers. We all started somewhere. Laura Wernsman's the only person I ever know that just said, okay, I'll try it. Like legit, the only one I've ever met. <laughs> There's always gonna be one in a crowd, and it's Laura. But the majority of us had our doubts. The majority of us had our reasons. Maybe it was money. Maybe we'd used something in the past and it never worked. So we just thought it wasn't going to help. Maybe, maybe somebody's got something medical going on and they're not sure if they, or if they can or if they should. There's so many things outside of you that you can't worry about. You can't focus on it. All you can do is put out there what you have and let the people who need it come to you. Now, does that mean that I'm just going to wake up in the morning and be like, I'm a thriver and just like, they're going to line up at the door? No, I'm going to do my reach outs. I'm going to do my uh, Facebook posts. I'm going to be very consistent with my story. If you guys aren't using stories, you're missing the boat. Sandra says, I gave every, every excuse under the sun. Getting, get to know the excuses help you see. Yeah, so you, the more, I mean, most of the time when people say, I mean, if you, you, a lot of you probably have this. Somebody thrives for a month and maybe for a couple of days, they're even telling you how good they feel, but suddenly it's time to reorder. And they're like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice anything. I didn't feel anything. It's usually not because they didn't feel anything. There's something else going on in that person's life. Now, are they going to tell you everything? No, even some of your, even some of your best friends will not tell you everything going on in their life. But that's why in that moment, you, you have two choices. You can be pissed and burn the bridge or you can say you know what when you're ready to get back to it let me know and then you carry on and you continue to be the thriver because when they keep seeing your post and they keep seeing that sticker on your arm and you keep a smile on your face they're eventually going to be like I think I better get back on that 
And there was a big resurgence. I know for uh, personally on our team, on, on, my, on my downline, March, April, and May, people coming back. People who had quit thriving a long time ago, quit promoting a long time ago, people were coming back. And think about it, it was one of the darkest, scariest times for a lot of these people. They lost their jobs, um, or they were like, you know, sent home or furloughed, or they just, there was a lot of uncertainty. Well, what was one consistent thing in their life? That damn Thrive Girl who was still smiling through all of it, right? So you be consistent. That's what you can control. Only you can control how many reach outs you do. Only you can control the follow-ups that you do. Only you can control if you're putting a Facebook or, or uh, Instagram message up. Only you can control if you are making sure your DFT is seen, right? Those are the things you can control. Let the rest be what it is. It's the world, it's life. But your business will grow as long as you are consistent. So, so look at your numbers. This, this we're gonna circle all the way back. When you look at that rate of run, did your heart pitter patter with excitement? Or did you want to vomit a little bit because you're worried? Okay, if you're pitter-pattering and you're super excited, you're probably on the right track. If you wanted to throw up a little bit because it's not where you need it to be, that's a sure sign that we need to do something to up your daily activity. Like, and, and, and remember, please, when you are chasing your goals, like, so on our team, it's a real big, I, I think it's super important to congratulate people when they do a good job, when they get a new customer. Like, we'd love to do shout outs. But I also know that sometimes when people see so-and-so got a, sh a shout out and so-and-so got a shout out, okay, that's their life, not yours, right? You have no idea what they're doing to find those customers. For all you know, um, maybe they came from another company or maybe they have a huge family. I don't know where some of these people are finding all their customers. All I know is I'm in my lane and in my lane, we do 35 reach outs a day. <laughs> we do team Zooms every week. We do stories every morning. We make sure the DFT is shown every day. That, and you know, I, I, I always refer back to inspire, inform, and entertain. Remember on social media, if all you're doing is talking about Thrive, you're gonna look like a commercial. But if you can inspire people somehow with your Thrive journey, inform them somehow with your Thrive journey, or entertain them, like, okay, so Sandra Dublin had one the other day where the chicken had pecked at her DFT. That was it's hilarious and cute, it's entertaining, and it's also subtly her thrive, right? So you can incorporate it in there without screaming it at people, but I can guarantee the second you stop, whether it's a day or three days, somebody somewhere is like, oh, I knew it, I knew she wouldn't last, I knew she wouldn't stick with it, I, she's already quit, that stuff must not work, blah, 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 blah. I make sure people know, I talk a lot about the fact that it's been five years, but even if it's only been five weeks, that's a long time for, I'm a personal trainer during the day, guys, okay? It's hard to get anybody to stick to a meal plan or a supplement schedule Monday through Friday. More or less a month, more or less a year. Like, it's a huge deal when you see people have a supplement that is so easy and so good that they stay on it more than 30 days. So I don't know where that came from, but I guess just being consistent, I don't know, I got squirrel. Um, so anyway, what you can control is all you can control. That's all you can do. You do your job and let the rest fall into place. So this week, I don't know what number you've come up with. I'm sticking with my 35. How many reach outs do you need to do? I would put that number on your calendar right now. Put a big old circle around it. Um, remind yourself of it. And you guys remember, reach outs don't have to be complicated. They don't have to be big, long paragraphs, you know, whatever. Maybe you see somebody had a birthday party for their dad who's 80. My gosh, I hope your dad had an amazing birthday. How is he feeling? Or how's his health? Or whatever. I don't know. Just ask questions. Be curious about people. It'll take you far in life. Um, so keep your rate of run in mind. I check mine every day. Uh, somebody one time said that they thought that might be too much. And then I reminded them that this is a business. And businesses are about numbers. So I don't think it's too much. I've been known to check my rate around three times a day. I, I doubt there's any business you would walk into that if you went to the eight county department, if you asked them their numbers, if they couldn't answer, they'd get fired. So know your numbers. Like these are your numbers. Um, keep your gratitude in the current, in the, in, the, in the coming and what's happening in your life. Put gratitude in what you know is coming your way. Focus on what you know is coming and be grateful for it. 
make sure you're doing auto ships. I'm like I said, when we get off here, I'd start tonight. Make sure they're done by tomorrow morning so that by Tuesday you can for sure be following up with what they want to add or change. Um, and then just keep an eye on what you can control. And remember, at the core of all of this, the one thing you control is you. Your attitude, your mindset, your activity, it's all about you. All right. So with that, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Happy mid-month.